Hello, uh, just doing a quick tutorial. Um, it's going to show you how to change the background here, as you can see in FL Studios. I have um, a custom wallpaper, and simply all you need to do is click on the options up here, which is View, head yourself to Background, and then you can set a bitmap wallpaper or set a HTML document. A bitmap is your normal um, picture file, so if you've got a JPEG um, or anything else, for example. And a HTML document would be like a website you've created or saved onto your computer. So I'm going to set a bitmap, and we can click on there, and it'll bring up my photos. And let's see which one we can go for. I had a good canyon one somewhere, which I can't seem to find now, but I'll use this hay bales one and I'll select that. So there we go, we've got um, a new background in FL Studios um, and we can set any one we want. As long as you, you see here, it's uh, JPG, JPEG, um, and the, all the other file types that are um, you can select. Um, what else have we got? We've got some random animal. <laughs> yep. Um, there is one one other thing with FL Studio. Um, it does overlap, as you can see here. It will um, add it for more than. It won't actually stretch the picture. So you've got to make sure of that. Um, if you do want to make it the same size as um, your background as as the same size as the screen, you'll have to go into your editing program, editing software, and do that yourself. Um, just take take it, take note; it won't fill the whole screen. So if you do the whole resolution of your screen, um, it will cut the um, the top off a bit uh, because you've got this bar here, um, and it will load the background directly under under that bar. So make sure you leave room um, for that. Um, or shrink it, should I say, so you can fit that in. Um, that's pretty much the basics. Um, you could load up HTML document. Uh, I've got a browser here. Oh, simple. Oh, you can put in your address. Let's see if this works. I've never tried it before. So, google.co.uk. And there we go. You have your own fully working background. Uh, within FL Studios. Well, maybe it's not going to work. Ah, yep, it's working fine. So uh, we can click on links. Let's search up YouTube. Let's click that. And there we go, we have a fully functioning YouTube page. Perfect. So. Uh, if you did have any inspiration and uh, you wanted to check that video out without leaving FL Studios, you could simply load up your video or inspiration or music in FL, and uh, that would work as a fully functioning uh, web browser within FL. Hope this uh, video has been um, quite an insight. Practice and enjoy.